Hey guys, it's Tara. So today I am not coming to you about makeup at all. So I will be 34 in July. So I was what you would consider an 80s, 90s baby, mostly 90s. I was born in 86. So the 80s were pretty much over before I'd even remember them. So, um, you know, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys came out um, as I was in middle school, along with, of course, Britney Spears and Pink and all the greats of our generation. But I was, I, if I need a really good pick-me-up or if I've just been having a few really bad days in the car, I will absolutely jam out to some old NSYNC. Okay, just pull in sync up on Spotify and hit the shuffle for all of their albums because I know every word to every song anyways. So this morning I was listening to in sync and for some reason two things popped in my head. Okay, so I've seen in sync in concert way back in the day and it was with my then best friend, Maggie Strader. She's now married with kids. Um, <clears throat> we were in middle school, and we went to see NSYNC in concert. And f I was so excited for just NSYNC. To this day, I honest to God, I can't tell you who opened for them. Like, I know Britney went on tour with them, but I'm almost 100% positive I've never seen Britney Spears in concert. And then I know they toured with Pink. So I'm wondering if maybe it was Pink was the opening act to that show because I am... Listen, if I ever saw Britney Spears in concert, I think I would remember that because she was just as big in my brain back then as... Well, not... No, no one was as close as NSYNC. But she was up there, okay? But... Besides the fact that I really don't think I've ever seen Britney in concert, let me tell you a little story. So, me and one of my dance friends, Hannah, who I've talked about on this channel before, um, her name was Hannah Jung, it's now Hannah Butler. Hey, Hannah! We went shopping. <clears throat> so, me, her, and her mom went on a weekend trip to... God, where did we go? Lexington, Louisville, Cincinnati, somewhere with like one of the real big malls, okay? Like we lived in a, well, I still live in a very small town. Our mall is pathetic. So, you know, if you really wanted to go on a shopping spree, you have to go out of town. You have to go at least two hours away to an, a decent sized mall. So we go on this shopping trip for the weekend. We're having a grand time. <clears throat> well, we pass the arena in wherever we were and there's a big tour bus and we're like oh, I wonder who wonder who's playing a concert we get to the mall we're shopping we're a couple hours in okay all of a sudden you just see this like group of people like a massive group of people like standing outside the store and me and Hannah are looking at each other like what what in the actual crap? Like, what's going on? Listen. Okay, if you're my age, you will remember Britney Spears and her very faithful assistant, um, what was it? Felicia? Felicia? I'm pretty sure that's her name. Anyways, it turns out it was Britney Spears in town to do... A concert. So, me and Hannah actually run into Britney Spears. Okay? Like, literally walk right up to her and her assistant. Her bodyguard is standing at the door of the store, right? Like, kind of... He's definitely in eyesight. Okay? Walk... Hannah is nervous. She's scared to death. Love her to death. She's, she was shy back then. I'm not shy. <laughs> I walk right up to her. And I'm like, oh my God, you're 
you're Britney Spears and you're her assistant. Like, I, I know you both. Like, can I please get an autograph? Tell me why this bitch literally looks me dead, dead in my eyes. And Hannah's my witness, looks me dead in my eyes and says, Oh, you're mistaken. I'm not Britney Spears, but I get that all the time. I'm sorry. You have 10 bodyguards standing at the door. You're definitely Britney Spears. Your assistant is just as famous, basically, as you are because you've done 50,000 MTV shows with her in them. So, she's highly recognizable at this point also. And not to mention, we saw your tour bus at the arena so... Bitch, we know it's you. We we know it's you. Okay, and I understand. Like, well, I mean, I obviously don't understand. I've never been a celebrity, but I can imagine that. Yeah, it's hard to go out and shop, and I'm sure you just want to enjoy your day and not be bothered with people and fans coming up to you. Listen. Like I said, I've never been there, but I'm sure that you want just what everybody else wants. You want to be able to walk into a store and not be recognized, not be bothered, and just have some retail therapy. Okay, I understand that, but don't look a serious fan right in the face and just lie. Like, wouldn't it have been better if she was like, okay, listen, yes, but I'm really just trying to enjoy my day, and I'm not really about signing autographs or anything right now, but thank you. That would have been the mature way to handle it, but no. Instead, not only did I try to get an autograph, a whole lot of other people in the mall did too. And she told each and every one of them the exact same line she told me. So she entered the mall having a group of people following her and she exited the mall with everyone else in the mall pissed and no longer really a big fan or supporter of her because she was so rude. Like, bitch, you can't be mistaken. You're Britney Spears. Your assistant was just as famous as you were at the time. You had ten enormous dudes in black suits and the little ear things like FBI style following you around this mall. And then you trying to say that you ain't famous that you're not Britney Spears, that everyone in this mall's crazy. <laughs> so, I don't know, it, it made me giggle this morning when I was thinking about it, like, just some of the crazy things that we did when we were younger, like, you know, that NSYNC concert I went to with Maggie, I r swear I don't remember who the opening act was. I was literally that excited to see NSYNC that the whole rest of the cons, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. I don't remember. Except, I do remember me and Maggie got up to go try to go to the bathroom. And we had zero idea where the bathroom was. So, we start like pretty much walking around this arena trying to find this stupid bathroom tell me how we end up backstage like literally me and Maggie are walking like down this hallway and all of a sudden we see these doors and the door actually has NSYNC's like name on it like that was their dressing room I was 
this close to meeting in sync. Not even on purpose. It was pure accident. Pure accident. But knowing that we were so close, but then of course a bodyguard came out and was like, you can't be back here and escorted us out. We were like, sorry, we were just trying to pee. Like, <laughs> guys, listen. These are things that I had completely forgotten happened to me. Okay, like, you get so caught up in adult world and adult things and adult problems and adult stress that you completely forget that you had some of the times of your life when you were kids and it was on pure accident. Like, as adults, we set out to do these crazy things and have these memories and these fun times and these adventures. But we all forget that a lot of us had some pretty fun, wild, crazy adventures when we were little and they weren't even intentional. Like, some of the best things that's happened to me have been pure coincidence, if you want to call it that, or fate, some people would say. But, like, I don't feel me meeting Britney Spears in a mall and her telling me she's not Britney Spears' is fate. It was just a funny story. But it was totally Britney Spears. Without a doubt, Hannah, girl, I know you watch my videos. You better hop on here and back me up, okay? That was straight up Britney Spears in that mall. And she a bitch for not signing us an autograph. Because <laughs> we were only like 13, 14, something like that. So we were like mad fans back then, you know, like over and above. So like, listen, that was Britney Spears. And then Maggie actually went and saw Britney in concert um, separately and saw her in the hotel. And actually said she looked horrible. Um, said she had no makeup on. Said she had horrible, like, acne, which I know nobody can help that. But, like, I just remember Maggie being like, oh, my God, I saw her. But she didn't even look like her. Like, but I swear, I don't think I've ever seen Britney in concert. I am almost 100% positive she was not the opening act for the NSYNC concert I went to. I'm almost positive that was Pink. Um... I've seen NSYNC a couple times, though, and then I've seen Justin Timberlake twice. So they kind of blur together a little bit, especially when you're that young. Like, it was a mo Listen, it was a mon monumental moment in my life. I love NSYNC. I think they could all retire if they would just do one, like, back-together tour. Or, I was thinking about this the other day. What if NSYNC was the headliner for Coachella? Dude, Coachella would be sold out in 15 seconds, and they would have a mass audience of us mid-30-year-olds. Okay, like, we could take over Coachella or any platform. If NSYNC with JT, it does not count if not all five are there, okay? that That's my true opinion of it. That's That was my opinion with Backstreet Boys, who was always number two. I will always be an NSYNC girl first, foremost, and forever. Sorry, take me or leave me. But the Backstreet Boys getting back together didn't work that well either because Kevin didn't come back until, like, a few years ago. And Kevin came back. They did a reunion tour and sold out everywhere. Then went on tour with Florida Georgia Line to bust into the country scene. Dog hair. Like, why can... I know, like, I follow NSYNC on some social media or, like, separate members, whatever. They all want to do it, except Justin. 
I love you, Justin. Like, for real, for real. Okay, I have every album. I've seen you in concert by yourself twice. I love you, Justin. But you need to get your shit together. Okay? Because us in... You, you, sir, would not have a quarter of the fan base you have right now if it wasn't for NSYNC. Like, do you not realize that, like, those of us that fell in love with you when you were in NSYNC just continually followed you as you went solo? So, I kind of feel like as an NSYNC fan who helped make you as a solo artist, I think you owe it to us. To get back together, just one one full tour. I swear I'll sell my left arm. Okay? Like, listen, I need you to do me a solid. Get your shit together. You're not too good. That's where you started. That's how you made it. Okay? And I need all five of my boys to get back together. You don't even need to put a new album out, although that would be icing on the cake. But I won't even push that. I won't even push that. Just go on one full tour together. Every one of you will be able to retire off of the money from the ticket sales. That I can guarantee you. So just think about it. And everyone else... Think about some of your childhood memories because some of them will really put a smile on your face and bring you a good, solid giggle as my Britney Spears story with Hannah did this morning. I don't know why I thought about that. Like, it started with the NSYNC concert. Who was the opening act? Oh, shit, we got lost backstage. Then it led to, oh, wait, I met Britney Spears once. But she was a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. These are legit swear on my life. True stories. Hannah, you can comment. Tell the people. I'm not lying. We met Britney Spears in the mall. She was a bitch and would not sign any autographs or even admit it was her, even though it was extremely obvious it was her. And... I'm sure Maggie will never see this, but that's okay, too. But I would really love to remember who the opening of number was for that concert because it makes me feel kind of old that I don't remember. Like, am I having memory problems, or was I genuinely that excited just to see NSYNC that I just blanked out the whole <laughs> opening act? Which, if it's pink, that makes me feel really bad because I feel love her and I would also give a left arm to see her in concert now so like if I did see Pink in concert with NSYNC like not that I would knock it off my bucket list because obviously I don't remember it but it'd make me really happy so if anybody I don't, I don't even remember where where the show was I want to say Lexington I can't even promise that. Like, I really don't. I can't remember, guys. But I want to remember. I want to remember. I want to know which... I feel like I've seen NSYNC twice. And then I saw Justin Timberlake when he went with Christina Aguilera. And they did, like, a dual tour, like, together. That was a great show. And then I just saw him um, two years ago. And he had some weird-ass opening act that wasn't great. It was nobody famous. Um, but the show was amazing. We had nosebleed seats. They were crazy expensive. Which is why I said if NSYNC ever went on tour, I would have to sell my left arm. Because God knows a girl couldn't afford that ticket. Um, just for the last Justin Timberlake concert I went to, it was $200 for the seat. We were in the complete, utter nosebleed halfway behind the stage. 200 and some dollars for terrible ass seats. But you know what? I paid it. I screamed. And I had the damn long time of my life. Because I love 
Justin. I love concerts. I love music. All that. I will always and forever be willing to pay good money for an artist that I want to see because music and concerts and entertainment and dancing just brings so much happiness to my soul. So I will always be down to figure out a way to drop some money on a good concert of someone I really want to see that I know puts on a good quality show. You know, not Britney Spears who lip syncs and half ass dances. No, ma'am. No. JT went hard. Janet Jackson went hard. NSYNC went hard. Like, that's my kind of concerts. Okay, Pink goes hard. I want to see her. That's why I want to see her. She goes hard. She just sheets and silks from the ceiling and sings upside down. Yes, bitch. Give me that, Britney Spears. Anyways, okay. Hannah, comment. Maggie, if you see this, I doubt you will. If you see this, if you remember who the opening act was, please let my girl, let me, let me know. Because I can't remember for shit. I can't remember. So, subscribe. I'll be back with makeup eventually. But this just made me giggle this morning and I wanted to share it. So, subscribe and I'll be back later. Bye!